Hello. So today I'm going to do a book review. Not on this one. But on the second book in this series by Jane Ayul. So the second book in the series is called The Valley of the Horses. And I don't know where it is. I really think I let someone borrow my first two books in this series because I just, I can't find them. So I think uh, I let someone borrow them and they just never gave them back. And that's okay. You know, usually I heard somewhere before, like, if you let someone borrow a book, you really shouldn't be expecting them to give it back because you're, like, sharing knowledge and sharing, like, an experience or something like that. Like, you should never expect someone to return a book. That's what I heard before. So, in, by this author, the second book, Valley of the Horses, we are following Ayla as she leaves the clan of the cave bear she goes off on her own to find a new place for herself I really liked the valley of the horses now again my cons for the for I don't want to say for the author but for the books and I guess the author because she she wrote them but again she's she spends a lot of time describing stuff and it kind of gets boring Sorry, it kind of gets boring when you're reading about the way a valley looks or the way a cave system looks. Like whatever she's describing in the in the Valley of the Horses specifically, I remember very clearly that she took like five pages to describe what the valley itself looked like, and that was a little bit much to me. Like I was like, "Come on now, like that's it's just too much." So usually I'll just skim through those parts and keep going, and. The other thing that is that her books are really long. So I don't remember exactly how long the Valley um, of the Horses was, but I know usually her books are anywhere from seven to 900 pages. They're very, very long books. And they can kind of be intimidating for people or to sit there and read, you know, that much. So for, for me, when I read her books, like I don't expect myself to blow through them or expect to be done within like a couple days. It usually takes me a couple weeks to read her books because they're just so long. Uh, the Valley of the Horses, I really enjoyed. I don't want to say I enjoyed it more than the first one, but it is definitely more interesting to me. Uh, Ayla is an adult now. She can go on her own. Well, I mean, I guess she was kind of an adult in the first one. But in the second one, just, I don't want to like spoil anything, but she kind of becomes like this animal whisperer to an extent. And she is able to soothe and calm animals. She's able to be like one of the first people ever to ride horses and tame them and have them be her friends. She also tames a cave lion, which, or saber tooth tiger, saber tooth tiger, cave lion, however you want to phrase it. She's able to like rescue one as a cub and nurse it back to health. And I mean, it's, 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 it's awesome. Okay. I know I kind of stuttered there a little. It's awesome. It's a, it's really interesting because then it goes through like the stages of the lion growing up, how he like works with her, like they go hunting together and then they, they end up kind of separating and going their own way, but that's towards the end of the book. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Um, you also get to meet a new character named John Delar. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. John Delar is a new male lead character that comes into her world and it's kind of like the first person, it is the first person she ever meets, or no. Yeah, no, it's like the first person she ever meets that looks like her. He's not a Neanderthal, he's more like we are as well. 
and they end up going on like their own little adventures and it's very it's a good book wow this is already long so that's the valley of the horses is the second one in the series i would recommend that you read the first book before because that way you get all the backstory of Ayla and what she's been through and why she thinks the way she does because between her and John Delar, they grow up in completely different clans, different environments. So some of the stuff Ayla does, John Delar kind of takes offense to in a way, but Ayla doesn't quite understand why. So just kind of understanding the backstory to her character and why she does the things she does and the way she is I think would be important. So yeah, that's my book review of The Valley of the Horses. Bye everyone.